What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Griddle Grub. Today we're gonna to be making a keto breakfast quesadilla. So let's check out these ingredients real quick. I got this, I just turned it on, so let's get this going. So right here we got some thick cut bacon, we got some diced up tomato, we have some green onion we're gonna put on, cheese, that's what we're making the shell out of. We got some eggs, we're gonna scramble that up. And we're gonna be using clarified butter, got that soaking in hot water. And yeah, let's get it going. So we're gonna start off with this bacon. There we go. Now the griddle's not all the way heated up, I'm just trying to get this going. Oh wow, this is a really, that's a really thin one right there. We'll put that at the bottom. Yeah, I was trying to get this going. It got real cold up here. And I hate it. So I just wanna get this going so we can eat. And then I'm just gonna cook this up first when this is just about done. That's when I'm gonna throw the, uh, the eggs on. I'm gonna get that stuff over here. I got these two burners off. These two are on high. So yeah, we're gonna just let this start going. Bring it right back. So I gave the bacon a fl one flip already. Let's see how we're looking now. Just gonna get it all. Oh yeah, that's how we like it. We like our bacon crispy. You can do this however you want, flimsy, crispy, whatever you prefer. So let's just keep this over here where it's gonna stay warm. And now I'm gonna clean this up a little bit so the eggs are somewhat, not all, uh, not all dark and whatnot. So let's just get rid of a little bit of that. Just right, right down here. Now I got this griddle way hotter than I would normally do eggs. It's at like, actually let's see exactly where it is. Yeah, we're at 420. I like to be around 300, 250, 300, but hey, we'll do what we do. All right, let's just, now I'm just doing one egg because I'm gonna do uh, my wife and kids after this. So just one egg. All right, that egg's pretty much done already. Look at that. Let that cook up. All right, so the bacon and the eggs are done. They're sitting over there. I turned this down a little bit. Um, I got them on like a medium now. So I got some clarified butter. I'm gonna put some of that down. That stuff does not last. All right, we got that down. Now, I like to use clarified butter because it doesn't burn, doesn't make your food all black, that kind of thing. And if you mix it with regular butter with oil, that helps. But, Clarified butter is the best way to go. So, got about a cup and two thirds of cheese here. This is a mixed blend. Some uh, mozzarella, I believe, and cheddar. So, yeah, we're just gonna put it on. I'm gonna use my spatula to kinda try and keep it in a circle. And there we go. Probably should've went straight down, but. We're good, we're good. Gonna get that into a circle.
All right, it's done. I just flipped it real quick right after I uh, right after I folded it. I flipped it real quick. Lost some tomatoes. Not gonna waste them though. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna clean up a little spot and give this thing a try. This looks really good. It's got like some of the butter kind of has like a burnt to it. And if you've ever tasted that, or I love it, I don't know. We got some leftover red uh, hot sauce from like a taqueria type place. Dip it in there. Ooh. Really cheesy, but that's okay. I love cheese. Tomatoes are good. Got a little hint of that onion. Bacon's awesome, you know that. Kind of seems like it's maybe needs some like jalapeno or something. Something, some kind of veggie, but you know, we're doing this keto so we couldn't put the green and red peppers in that kind of stuff. But man, this is really good, especially dipped in this hot sauce and it's super greasy. I had to dab it off. So maybe next time I would, uh, when I take it off the griddle, just put it on like a, one of my shop towels and get it good that way. So this is pretty good. I like it. That's all I got y'all. Appreciate you coming along. Smash that thumbs up for me. Let me know if there's something you want me to cook. We're giving a griddle away at 3,000 subscribers. Uh, we're at, uh, I think we're just under 2,000 right now. So at 3,000, we're giving a griddle away, um, possibly 22, 28 inch. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and definitely let me know if there's something you want me to cook because I love trying new stuff. So. Thanks for coming by.